My name is Carson. Welcome to Thrifty Garage, a channel where we do everyday repairs, how-tos, and reviews. And in today's video, we'll be putting together this snow shovel. This is the snowplow.com, uh, top quality uh, snow removal tools. I purchased this uh, several months ago. Uh, for our snow removal business and uh, just now getting to assembling it on camera here. I uh, just finished up this video on the Makita tools and wasn't even going to do this in a video, but uh, once I opened the box, I, I knew I had to share it. So it's uh, this one's a 36 inch model. They've got from 12 inches all the way up to 48 inches and uh, really pretty nifty uh, shovel. So here we've got a little poly blade, pretty lightweight, and it's just uh, molded there. Uh, Pretty sharp edge, well it's a 90 degree angle on this edge, and I'm sure that'll break it over time. We've got a little brace here, plastic, uh, assembly, hardware located inside the hole handle, so the, there's a package with all of our hardware inside there. And then here's our handle. Got a little uh, sleeve on here, and uh, this says this is the original, the Snowplow trademark. It's a poly snow and waste pusher available in sizes 24, 30, 36, and 48. It looks like they've added a, a 12 and 18 inch here as well. Patented tough brace. We got a poly blade, reinforced fiberglass handle. Here's our fiberglass handle. D-grip for comfort and control. And a simple bolt together construction. Lightweight, durable, ergonomic, and rust free. Preferred by commercial snow removal professionals and that's why uh, we bought this so uh excited to put this together got our little instructions here okay so we got our g-grip handle tough brace wall hanger clip included okay so that's what this is this is a wall hanger Let's set that aside for now put this in here These are 7 16 inch hardware. So really easy to put this together. We got four bolts on the bottom here. On this top piece, we have also have a bolt up top here that kind of holds the upper half of that, kind of radiuses around. And then we've got three self-tapping screws on the back side here. What I did here is I just laid this out on the bench, made sure it was level, and then leveled out the handle here, make sure everything is square. I ordered a handle on line or a shovel on line and it wasn't square like this. It was super annoying. So uh, really important to put it that way. And then it said, to put the snow plow face forward, which I did not do, but I don't think that matters. Okay, well there she is, that is a wide shovel. I think I might order an 18 inch or 24 inch version of this. This is perfect for when we get a skiff, which is pretty common around here. That's most of what we'll be doing is about one inch. We just had a storm go through that was about one inches. And when you do this, you just kind of do a snow plow action, kick it off to the side. And then you can just go back and forth down a sidewalk with this three footer. I can do a sidewalk in two or three passes uh, really easy on a commercial site. And then with the smaller width blade, if we do an 18 inch or 24 inch, then if it's really wet and heavy, it's easier to pick up. These are not really uh, pickup shovels, uh, more of a, a blade pusher shovel, but uh, this will be awesome. Let's go uh, test it out on the chicken coop. 